now is Dr. Mona Mansouri. Mona, three out of every hundred people, it's just a complete failure, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say complete failure. It's obviously not the outcome that we wanted to hear. Uh, but we have to remember that um, these vaccines are sort of brought about much earlier in the year and they come after guidance from the World Health Organization as to what uh, the likely strains of flu are going to be for that year. So each flu vaccine contains several strains that are likely to be prevalent in that year. Unfortunately, however, this time round, the prevalent strain has been found to be one that's a changed version. Uh, so that there's something called antigenic, antigenic drift mm. um, or shift even, um, which means that the virus actually changes itself. So it evades uh, you know, your, your immunity to it. So usually vaccines would work better than this. Yeah, usually we would, we'd be expecting to get at least 50%, uh, which is still pretty good and would, would prevent us having, uh, you know, a, a serious epidemic and prevent um, mortality and mor morbidity, poor health as a result of having the flu. Well, look, we're in February now. Is there any point people going out and getting a jab now as we're approaching, well, the end of winter? We are towards the end of winter, and I think, you know, generally, generally well individuals, it's less needed. But certainly in the vulnerable groups, we're still advising that they should have had, really, by now, the vaccination, because it still confers some immunity and some protection against other strains. The other uh, advice that's being put out is that if certainly groups that are at risk are showing symptoms of flu, then they can be treated with something else. Is that right? Yes, um, th there's, there's advice that they should be treated with antiviral treatments. Um, the problem is, of course, that these antiviral treatments aren't really as effective as, as we would like them to be, uh, and in some cases aren't really very helpful at all. But in the instances where there are quite vulnerable in individuals, it may be decided on a clinical basis that that patient may benefit from having that treatment.